good. Oh, oh shit. I'm in back, I'm taking all the stack. I got broads in the line. She's a dog. Pretty cards in the scammers. Take it all the stack. What's good, Mullen fam? So we are back. Legendary Shreds is not over the cut continues so obviously with body power and a couple of different videos things just got broken up a little bit but we are continuing this shredding series pretty much guys there's only three weeks left so I've been cutting for nine weeks I'm gonna finish it off at probably 12 yeah I am quite happy with how things have gone as the process as if you've been keeping up with the videos everything's been a slow process I've kept my calories high done a lot of cardio and, uh, and I've kept pretty much all of my strength but right now we are really going to try and push it try and get myself to an even lower body fat percentage and even better body composition right now hello Shmoo I'm gonna go down and weigh myself Shmoo how you doing this morning you doing good girl how you doing Chelsea 76.8 the lowest I've been in God knows how long Shmoo, what you sniffing for? Shmoo! <laughs> and we are a go. So plop you there, you can't see me. My head is cut off. That's a little bit better. So what is up and what is happening, people? So pretty much right now, got a lot of shit to get done today. So in today's video, I gotta go hit some legs, gotta upload a video, gotta vlog all today. As you can see right now, gotta go drop up to swords. I live in Kildare, I'm, I'm, and this is what I do for my subscribers. I'm dropping the prize that, uh, that he won in my giveaway from the Maxi Muscle thing up to swords. Have to go into the bank. There's just so much shit I gotta get done. So yeah, without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's go! Get you back up here. Get you back up here. So, people, I am just outside the bank. The reason why I have to go to the bank is because I have to get a bank statement. It's all to do with this PayPal bullshit. So, I didn't know that apparently you're only allowed to receive a certain amount of money on a personal account when it's like PayPal or something. There's like a limit, and when you exceed that limit, whatever it is, like 1800, whatever, you have to like give them more information and everything so I have to fucking jump through hoops send them my like picture of driver's license all this other bullshit that I have to get done um, and I have to prove that I live in the house that I live in so yeah that's the I suppose downside of taking clients and shit through PayPal but it's really really easy at the same time so I wonder if I'm gonna have to continue doing this or if this is a one-off thing I have no idea but that is why I'm here so yeah let's go back and let's fuck this shit up What's going on? So I made it to Swords. I'm pretty sure I'm outside where I need to be. Um, I hate doing this, knocking on someone's door just in case uh, it's not them. Because imagine you're just like, hey, I got the prize for Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't live here. Oh. Okay. So yeah, going to uh, go knock on this door and hopefully that doesn't happen. A few moments later. Long and behold, that exact fucking conversation. Just happened. I'm not in the right place, but I think I know where I'm supposed to be going. It's just down the road. Fuck my life.
What's good? Holy shit, about to see the sun. Damn, such a nice day out. I don't know if you can see it, I'm drenched in sweat right now. I mean drenched. That's because obviously I just finished my cardio. Obviously didn't show you all of my training. Showed you my squats. Did I film anything else? Yeah, I filmed the leg press and shit like that. But I only did that because I was like, guys, you've seen me train legs a million times. And that always happens when I'm training by myself, especially when I have no one to film, just setting everything up. I'm like, do they really want to see me train legs? Do they really want to see me squat and do the exact same exercises that I've always been doing? But guys, if you do want to know how to train, if you do want the information about uh, reps and sets and watching my technique and watching how I do things, tempo and everything like that, then comment down below, like you right now, if you want to see that, comment down below and please let me know, because otherwise I don't know. It's just guesswork, so I'm going to keep doing how I like doing things and maybe leaving stuff out that I think is boring, unless you guys tell me that no, you actually want to see it, because then I will film it and I have no problem doing that. So right now, what do I got to do? I'm going to go upload a video from the meetup with Max and and Rob that was here in Raw uh, just a couple of days ago. And then gonna go home, get some food in, and I really wanna try out this, like, have you guys seen like the Coke and Mentos thing? I might try that out. Day two. What's happening? It's Tuesday, the next day. I wanted to finish this vlog off by doing the, uh, the Coke and Mentos challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's this. Wait, ready? Oh. I've always seen it, wanted to give it a go, try it out, just for the lols, fuck it, and yeah, so I'm going to Tesco now to get some Mentos because they don't have them in my centra, which is annoying, so yeah, the shit that I do for you guys, the shit that I do, so yeah, I'll catch you guys when we get to Tesco. The Mentos have been acquired, also got an extra bottle of Diet Coke, just in case the first time we do it is an epic- but yeah, so I'm gonna catch you guys when I get back home. We're gonna try this shit. And yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> right guys, so we are doing the Coke and Mentos challenge. I've never done this before. I just wanted to do something to end off the vlog and I want to do a lot more of this sort of style stuff where I incorporate my vlogs to my fitness to just the random shit. So it's just like a full day vlog rather than just fitness and everything like that. So I thought I'd give this a go. This could be a big epic fail, a big anti-climactic end to the vlog, but we have no idea, but we're just gonna give this a go. So, um, I put Mentos into Coke. I, I, it fizzes up a lot and I meant to try and drink it, so here we go. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> It, it definitely fizzed anyway, it definitely worked. Fuck it, let's keep going. Woo! So the key is to get them in as fast as possible. So that tower tactic worked pretty well last time. So you stack them all up. And we go for this. So this Diet Coke has been in the fridge for a while. I don't know if it being cold is going to make a difference, but we shall... Uh... We lost them, we lost them, but fuck it, let's go. Ugh. Coke, be sure to sponsor me. I love all your stuff. It tastes really great. That was the uh, the Coke and Mentos challenge. If you guys enjoyed, I think that deserves a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. A lot more shit like this on the channel. I can't open my left eye right now, but apart from that guys, take care, I'll see you all soon, goodbye. What, what, what's your name, don't you play this game, you from another land, got you like it's contraband, tell me what's your name, don't you play this game, you from another land, got you like